I think I'm the most emotionless person cutting hair. I have my scissors, I have my comb here, and it's about to get down. Yes. <laughs> so um i'm i'm hoping this video is going to be very brief so i want to cut my hair today what's today's date today is either 8th or 9th of february i'll put it on the screen today is friday and it's finally time to cut this hair i've been wanting to cut this hair actually for a minute i was supposed to have done it since last month but somehow i've just been stalling i've just been taking my time and all of that so this is my relaxed hair if you're new on this channel hello and if you see my face for the very first time my name is Plangus. welcome to my youtube channel so the very first time um i relaxed my hair a little over a year ago sometime in december 2022 and uh, yeah it's been one year this is february 2024 it's been like one year and a month or so and it was a huge damage it was a disaster i'm going to put the clip right now so today is the day that i relax my hair <laughs> i'm so excited i'm really excited to be relaxing my hair let's talk i look like an actual potato head hey i thought i had not made any wrong decision in 2022 i hate this hair oh my god i thought i'll be happy first of all my hair is fried there's no curls bro by the time the relaxer was washed off half of my hair was in the sink every available hair mistake i made it today everything just went wrong do i regret this absolutely <laughs> this is a feel hair updates from the last video that So you've seen that clip, that was what happened when I thought that I wanted to relax my hair and join the relaxer gang and all of that. But if I'm being honest with you here, from that damage, my hair has actually thrived. It has tried. It has done so well. So a little back gist, I was actually natural for like a hot minute before I decided to relax my hair. But the error or the mistake that happened that I did not realize was actually my my own relaxed hair was gradually thinning out and i didn't pay attention at a point here yeah, my re, my natural hair was thriving it was thick the normal thick fussy hair and all of that but it started thinning out because i just was not paying attention to mine i was doing the purest minimum i was not deep conditioning i was not you know all those things that um natural hair can do like hair marks and all of that at a point like when there was a whole rave about natural hair i started paying attention to my natural hair and it was doing so well i will try i, I hope i'm able to find videos or pictures that i've probably posted a while ago maybe on instagram or so and put it on the screen of the journey of my natural hair yeah so i i even had a big chop at a point and one year later the hair actually grew well i had a big chop maybe in at the point in my university maybe my 200 level loss so i had a big chop and 
one year later the hair was thriving well after that one year i started taking care of the hair then at some point i just fell out i just got tired of paying attention to my hair so i just let it go use normal like i did not care the shampoo or the conditioner i was using there was no special treatment honestly i would just wash it normally condition and rinse it out immediately and nothing more than that braid my hair like i was not paying attention to my hair and it was gradually losing texture losing thickness losing a lot of stuff and then the final um straw that broke the camel's back was when i decided to relax my hair and so the relaxer took it out on my hair i mean my hair took it out on me with the relaxer and, and you know my hair was like girl you cannot do this who do you think you are to treat me so badly and think you can relax and, and shine in the relaxer gang no 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 <laughs> but another thing i'll give my hair is that i think my hair thrives really it, i don't really have a very problematic hair it thrives well like it bounces back very well because if you if you notice uh, from the um, big chop three months after it was kind of gaining a lot um, a lot of weight back it was growing and you know it was thriving it was it was okay but i have a lot of dead ends and um so now let me do a pros and a con i be let me let me weigh um the difference between i've had relaxed hair now for a year i've had natural hair in the past and which do i prefer um i would say if you take care of both of them you would enjoy it you will get the best use out of both of them one thing i thought i was going to avoid when i went from natural to relax was dandruff i thought that oh when i relax my hair i will not have dandruff again dandruff is a whole other thing on its own and it does not care whether you are relaxed or you are natural so i thought maybe the chemicals would deal with the dandruff and all of that but i was deceiving myself i was still having flaky scalp i was still having dandruff here and there yeah um another thing with between the relaxed and the natural hair is that with my natural hair yeah, like with my relaxed i've been carrying this hair like this for like almost a week now no no braiding i didn't put it in any protective style i literally just packed it back and then i was just wearing my bonnet over i cannot try this with my natural hair even if i've just taken down braids or whatever it is i can't try it with my natural hair that i'll sleep with my hair like just like this and think i'll wake up and the hair will be like oh let's go have a good day Mba. the hair is good i would not even be able to pass a comb through it will be so tangled it'll be a whole process with natural hair before i sleep i'll have to put it in some more protective styling i'm going to have to twist it or sharply make like three or four braids or something i just could not do um i, I could not just do this with my natural hair yeah? so that's another thing like that's another pro with um having relaxed hair over natural hair then about shedding i thought that i was only going to shed hair when i was natural because when i was natural if i comb hair i was shedding they're just always hair but we relaxed hair after carrying relaxed hair for a year i think the shedding with relaxed hair is worst especially me that had like a very damaged hair all these over processed strands like you can see this want new growth and all but all these other strands are like over processed they were breaking so much then the climate or the weather where i stay it does not it's not making it any easier or any better for me now i stay in just just happens to be like the coldest part of nigeria yeah and our hamatan is bad it's always used to give hamatan always hamatans and during hamatan is like let me see excuse me let me reduce my exposure a bit here so our hamatan is like a small or a mini with an introduction to winter what you will call winter so you know that during winter the weather is very cold very dry or during hamatan I, I've, I've never stayed in a country sorry that has winter but i just know that you can kind of have an idea or kind of compare them a bit so during hamatan the weather is always dry the weather is you know always brisk so even your skin is very dry and currently we are in hamatan so i am shedding a lot of hair and personally i don't like hair all over like hair on my body like little strands or when i comb my hair everywhere just hairy and all of that so i i thought i was escaping that from natural to relaxed hair but relaxed hair was like hold on sis hold on sis i'm coming for you so yeah there's really nothing much guys i didn't plan this video i'm actually in a hurry i need to be stepping out in less than one hour so i want to cut the hair hopefully i'll quickly go to the barber's shop for them to trim um the hair for me so um i didn't plan the video i don't have any notes or whatever it is i'm just cutting my damaged hair it is 
um, hair it's going to grow back don't get angry don't get upset don't come and fight don't come and please it's okay it's a hair it will grow back <laughs> it will grow back so i want to cut it as low as possible um let me just start while i'm talking i should have actually been cutting it guys i didn't watch any videos or anything or any tutorials on how to cut hair i'm just chopping it i don't even think my scissors is sharp enough so even if i make mistakes or like if, if this is an error please you will just have to pardon me i'm just winging it i just know that i want to cut my hair and i'm in a hurry guys i need to go out soon so i don't have the time to to be emotional or to start saying oh um it's my hair what what, what not like you know all those i think there's there's a way some people get emotional like when they are cutting hair and whatnot it's hair so <laughs> this is my hair my relaxed hair my damaged hair so i'm just so guys why i'm cutting it today is that this video i've stalled it for way too long i should have cut this hair since january but somehow i just didn't and i have a wedding tomorrow so i'm actually going to the tailors now to go like try on my dress and I, I i want to wear wig tomorrow because obviously this hair is not nice enough for me to take it out like this it's overdue and all of that new growth too puffy i can't wear a wig on top and i would have to what do what do i call it i'll have to like braid it or put it in cornrows before i wear it and i just don't have the energy for that so i might as well just film the film the video oh guys look at this <laughs> i think i'm the most emotionless person cutting hair because i'm sure like probably in the in the in the in time past i've seen a couple of videos of people cutting their hair and they're like crying oh my god they're like oh god <laughs> let me get thumbnail <laughs> and you know they're like crying and oh my god so emotional and all i think if i'd filmed this video when i have time or when i'm not in a hurry maybe I'll, I'll have one of those reactions but no another thing guys is i knew that i was going to cut my hair eventually you know that whole thing of going from relaxed to natural and i'm not i'm not part of those my hair is not part of those hair that has been cut out for transitioning from relaxed to natural i would literally have to do a big chop basically because the the new growth it's always so painful almost too unbearable for me guys i think i'm cutting this thing too unevenly hey god help me yo. help me when i go to the barber shop they're not going to laugh at me well i don't care let me just make it this section a bit smaller just so it's easier for me to handle this is so uneven i like this part better but i can't go any further so i'm just going to go to the barber's shop or to the barber's salon and get the rest of the hair attended to i'm just gonna scuff scuff up my hair i really cut some parts so low like here but that's fine that's fine though even it out even if it's like really really low or like this mini full Ooh, did you hear that <laughs> this is all the hair that came off this is it and this is what i've done for myself so far so let me head to the barber shop now there's no time maybe we'll talk more if i finish getting myself together but i'm in a hurry right now and let's head to the barber shop